Hi everyone, it's Susan from SusanWinter.net. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for coming to this channel. And for those of you who have subscribed, thank you, thank you, because it just shows me that I'm going in the right direction. And that's what I want to do. Answer your questions, help you out. Um, so this question has to do with when you really want to contact an ex because they've had very bad behavior and you want to call them out. This is written from Amber and Amber writes, Hi Susan, what do you think about contacting an ex for calling them out for being cruel upon breaking up? To get some things off my chest after about a month of no contact and since it's become obvious that he's back with his ex, he tried to play it off like he'd met someone new and told me I just didn't have it. I know this isn't the case, but it keeps ringing in my ears and I'm still obsessing in my mind. Okay. Amber, okay. I know that this person obviously deserves to be called out. And I am of two minds, but let me tell you each road and what they will bring back to you, okay? Whenever we take an action that's bold, we need to think of the consequences. And if you can sustain the consequences, then do it. If you are going to send a message, I strongly suggest you get it down to two sentences. And I know, because when you actually start to craft one of these messages, it's gonna read like a no novel. Because I've seen this, where I say to a client, write, write it in one sentence to maximum. I come back, I see an email that looks like this. No, 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 no. We're not revisiting the relationship. If you need to get something off your chest, this is one choice. It's not my first choice, but the choice would be to say something along the lines of, um, I'm saddened by your behavior because I'm no longer able to admire or respect you. And that's unfortunate. Something along that line. I mean, you don't need to go into details because then she did this and you did that and then you lied about this. When you, when you let somebody know from a very cool and calm position that they are diminished in your eyes because of their behavior, they know what they've done. And you make it very honestly like, you know, I really wanted to like you. I really wanted this to work out. I wanted to believe you were who you presented yourself to be. I admired that person. And now I can't feel that way about you anymore. And that's my sadness. But all of this is a second choice to what I'd rather you do. And that would be to move forward. And why I'm saying this is because if we need to get this off our chest, they still have us. They got you hook, line, and sinker. It's your ego that's reacting. You know, we're hurt, so we want to hurt you. And it feels good in the moment, but think strategically. Every time you want to take a move like this, I beg all of you, think as though you're on a chessboard. Don't just do the first move that, oh, open space, I'm going to go for it. Think it through. Seven moves down the line. Because when you have a need to call somebody out, I know it's a burning desire because things aren't even. But it also shows that you're still thinking about them, that you still care. And your ultimate reward is mental freedom. When you don't need to call them out, you just know that, you know what? I dodged a bullet. Wow, that was a really unethical and dishonest person. You know, you living your best life is the absolute greatest revenge. And I know that that's an old saying, but it is an old saying because it is so true. So Amber, test yourself. If you can write something in two sentences that talk about you know, somehow how he fell from grace in your eyes and how you didn't want that to happen. Um, and if that doesn't feel right, sit on it. And just think to yourself that, look at the person who would say this to you. Look at the guy who'd lie to you and go back to his ex and claim it's somebody new and you just don't have it. That's a horrible person. Do you really want to honor them enough by even making a comment? Here's the thing about the ego being down. When the ego is down, like this is this is normal, okay? When the ego is negative one, it wants to take an action to get back up on top. The best action you could take is to program your mind to actually rid yourself of this guy altogether, go through every single thing that is disagreeable, and count yourself lucky because 
now, you know, she can have him, okay? He can go back and do the same thing and they can have their little fight that they did before. So please think your moves through. Think strategically. What feels good in the moment may not serve you well in the future. Thank you so much for this question. And thank you, all of you. I get, I get some new people calling me on Magnify. This is so awesome. I was um, in the pet store buying treats for my puppy. <laughs> I got a, a call from a wonderful new client. Um, did have a very understanding, you know, staff people as I'm over in the corner near the kitty litter or whatever trying to talk on the phone. But love, love, love the consultations. Love when I get to talk to you guys in person. I urge you to use Magnify if you've got an iPhone. There is nothing like a quick conversation and just getting something straight. And even when I'm not available, I sometimes open up my hours. So you can reach me through the chat feature and say, Susan, I, this is desperate. Can you? And sometimes I'm actually in a meeting and I booked out for the day because I'm trying to concentrate. But if I see that, I'll open it back up for you. And also those of you who come to my consultations for the um, individual or for the a full day with me, love, love, love getting to know you personally. And as we work on your issues, and I'm so proud of all your progress. Everyone, thank you for your lovely messages. I do read them. Yes, I do. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.